All right. Every year, the National Conflict Resolution Center puts on an awards dinner for those who define the meaning of conflict resolution. And here to tell us more about tonight's event are Steve Dinkin and Lisa Borders. Thank you so much for joining us. Our pleasure. Glad to be here. <laughs> Glad you're here, too. So let's talk about the National Conflict Resolution Center. Steve, what exactly does it do? Well, we're in the business of promoting civility, and uh, we all know that we need a little bit more civility in our lives. And we do that through uh, training. We have uh, conflict resolution inclusivity communication training and we also have a number of different types of conflict resolution tools like mediation that uh, work at all levels of society and businesses in the community at universities in government uh, so we find conflict in all these spaces and we're working to uh, conflict and, and promote uh, more peace in our society. And Lisa, you're going to be the keynote speaker tonight. I want to make sure I, I want everybody to know that you are the co-founder of No Labels, and we're going to get to that organization and what you do. Okay. You are also the current president of the WNBA. Correct. Okay, and you're a former Atlanta City Council president. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. learned a bit from your grandfather. He did. My grandfather was a Baptist minister in Atlanta for over 50 years at Wheat Street Baptist Church. Dr. King's church is about a block away, and he would come spend time listening to my grandfather speak. We all spent time listening to my grandfather speak. But we are honored as uh, no labels. I'm here as a representative. I am a co-founder. There were several uh, who have the privilege of receiving the National Peacemaker Award. Our business is civic engagement. We we want to make sure that Congress works again. We want to make sure that the country is well served by those that we have elected to represent us as opposed to acting as polarized forces that don't interact. So this opportunity to receive this award, we are humbled, we are honored to have this opportunity to receive it from Steve and his organization. Well, you know, in this day and age of in the U.S., this political division that is just rampant right now, yeah. you came together with some others as a co-founder of no labels and you Correct. just wanted to get the politicians to work together. Talk right. to us about that. So really it's about civic engagement. It's not only about the grass tops, which would be those that are elected. It's also about the grassroots, getting people engaged, not just taking for granted that those who are elected will just get the work done. We need to give them guidance and counsel. And what we're finding is there's so much acrimony today. This is not the only time in history that this has been a problem. You mentioned Dr. King and my grandfather. During the 60s with civil rights, there were polarizing factions then. So this is a very parallel time. It's probably worse than we've ever seen it, or at least in my lifetime that I can recall. That doesn't mean we can't f The theme this year for the dinner is there is a solution. But that means you have to listen attentively. Make sure you're effectively listening to the other person that's having a point of view. You've got to react responsibly, and then you've got to tackle the issues together. Those are the principles that we are learning from the national organization here. We want to make sure that we are aligned with that. So No Labels is perfectly aligned. We didn't know of each other 10 years ago. We certainly know of each other now and recognize that our work is very much synergistic. And Steve, what can uh, we expect at the awards tonight? Well, the Peacemaker Dinner, it's our 30th anniversary dinner, and uh, we are honoring individuals who think outside the box in terms of peacemaking, innovative ways, symbolic of what the rest of society needs to do to resolve conflict and come up with solutions. So we have uh, several awards that we're giving, a philanthropy and peacemaking award to Peter Seidler and Dan Shea, the owner of the Padres, for their work mm -hmm. around homelessness. And we also have a local award giving to four female community heroes around some of the most challenging issues facing our society, immigration, affordable housing, environmental sustainability, access to justice. These women have come up with really solid um, responses to these issues, and they're giving voice to the voices. So, And then No Labels is our, our national awardee, and we're so honored to have Lisa be our keynote speaker. This really embodies all the work that we're doing as an organization, what we need to do to accomplish in our society. Society. Sounds like a great event. We're really enabling organizations, the two of us, conflict resolution, getting people civically engaged and listening, using the tools that the Conflict Resolution Center has put in place. We want to lever that, right? We want to learn and lever. That's what we want to do. No Labels is a perfect training ground to implement some of these practices. We were doing it and didn't even realize we were doing it and recognizing that this is an opportunity for us to do it. Not
those that are engaged already, but for those that potentially could be engaged. That would be everybody. Mm -hmm. So we invite people to come to nolabels.org. We have a new website up. It's been new and improved. And we want folks to come and join us on this journey, implement these tools that the Conflict Resolution Center has in place. All right. Steve Dink and Lisa Borders, thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning. Thanks for all you do for the community. Thank Our you. Our pleasure. Mm -hmm.